Have you ever felt like you're suffocating under the weight of your own life? Do you wake up every day feeling like no matter how hard you try, you just can't break free? Today, we're exposing the brutal truths about the five things that are silently controlling your life and holding you back from reaching your full potential. It's time to face reality and reclaim your freedom. Welcome to our channel, where we cut through the bees and get real about taking control of your life. If you're tired of living on someone else's terms, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon. This isn't just another feel-good Vito. This is a wake-up call. In this video, we're diving deep into the five things that are chaining you down. These forces are like invisible puppeteers, pulling your strings and dictating your every move. But the power to cut those strings lies within you. Today, we're going to show you how to do just that. So, stay with me until the end. Number one, your past. How many times have you let your past mistakes, failures, and regrets dictate your present and future? The past is like a ghost that haunts you, constantly whispering that you're not good enough, that you're defined by your worst moments. But here's the hard truth. The past is over. It has zero power over you unless you give it permission to control your life. Imagine this. You're carrying a massive backpack filled with every mistake, every bad decision, and every regret you've ever had. It's heavy. Right, you're trying to move forward, but that weight is dragging you down. You can't run. You can't even walk properly because you're too busy lugging around this burden. The longer you carry it, the more it exhausts you, mentally and physically. This backpack is your past. It's time to put it down. You see, your past is a part of your story, but it's not the whole story. It's a chapter, not the entire book. You made mistakes. So what? Everyone does. You faced failures. Join the club. The real question is, what did you learn from them? Reflect on your past, yes, but don't live there. Use it as a guidepost not a hitching post. Each mistake and failure taught you something valuable. Those are lessons you can carry forward, not the shame or regret. If you keep letting your past control you, you're essentially giving up your power. You're allowing old versions of yourself to run the show. That's like letting a shadow steer. The ship. It's time to reclaim that power. Forgive yourself for the past. Understand that every single experience, good or bad, has shaped you into who you are today. But don't let those experiences trap you in a cycle of self-doubt and stagnation. Think about the people you admire, those who have achieved great things. Do you think they never failed? Do you think they never made mistakes? No, they did. The difference is they didn't let their past define them. They learned, they adapted, and they moved forward. And you can, too. But you have to make a conscious choice to stop being a prisoner of your past. It's not easy. It requires strength and courage. But the freedom you'll gain is worth every ounce of effort. Your past is a chapter, not the end of your story. Close that chapter and start writing the next one on your own terms. You have the pen. You have the power. Let go of the past, break free from its chains, and step boldly into the life you're meant to live. Number two, other people's opinions. Living your life based on what others think is a guaranteed way to stay miserable. How many dreams have you abandoned because you were afraid of being judged? How many times have you altered your path to fit into someone else's mold? It's time to face the brutal truth. Other people's opinions are chains that bind you to mediocrity. People will always have opinions. Some will be supportive, but many will be critical and dismissive. And guess what? Most of those opinions come from people who are too afraid to chase their own. Dreams. They project their fears and insecurities onto you because seeing you succeed reminds them of their own failures. Do you really want to let those voices dictate your life? Think about this. Every great innovator, every trailblazer, every person who has achieved something extraordinary faced criticism and doubt from others. Steve Jobs was fired from his own company, 
Oprah Winfrey was told she wasn't fit for television, and the Wright brothers were laughed at for dreaming of flying. If they had listened to the naysayers, where would they be now? More importantly, where would we be without their contributions? You have to understand that the only opinion that truly matters is your own. You are the one living your life, facing your challenges, and reaping the rewards of your hard work. Other people's opinions are just noise, background static, that you need to tune out. This doesn't mean you should ignore constructive feedback, but you should filter it through your own values and goals. Living for others' approval is a losing game. No matter what you do, you will never please everyone, and in trying to, you'll lose yourself. You'll find yourself constantly bending, adjusting, and compromising only to realize that you've moved further away from who you truly are and what you truly want. It's time to reclaim your life. Start by asking yourself, what do you want? What are your dreams? What makes you happy? Once you identify these, commit to them fully. It won't be easy. Standing firm in the face of criticism takes courage, but the freedom and fulfillment you gain are worth every ounce of effort. Remember, those who matter won't mind, and those who mind don't matter. Stop letting the fear of judgment control you. Embrace your path, your journey, and your truth. Break free from the chains of other people's opinions and start living a life that is authentically and unapologetically yours. Number 3. Limited Beliefs The most significant obstacles you face are often the ones you create in your own mind. Limited beliefs are the silent assassins of your dreams. They whisper in your ear, you're not good enough, you can't do this, it's impossible, and the worst part, you believe them. They didn't come out of nowhere. They were planted in your mind by past failures, critical voices, and societal expectations. Maybe you were told you weren't smart enough, strong enough, or capable enough. Maybe you failed once and decided you'd never try again. These beliefs are like mental chains binding you to a life of mediocrity and fear. But here's the hard truth. Those beliefs are lies. They are perceptions, not realities. Every time you tell yourself, I can't, you're reinforcing a cage that doesn't need to exist. Think about it. If everyone believed their limited thoughts, we'd still be living in caves, too afraid to explore, innovate, or progress the Wright brothers wouldn't have flown, Edison wouldn't have lit up the world, and countless other breakthroughs would have never happened. Limited beliefs are comfortable. They provide excuses for not taking risks, not facing failure, and not pushing boundaries. They allow you to stay in your comfort zone where it's safe but stagnant. But comfort is the enemy of progress. If you want to break free, you need to shatter those beliefs. Start by challenging them. When a limiting thought pops up, question it. Ask yourself, is this really true? What evidence do I have to support this? What if I'm wrong? It's one powerful way to break free from limited beliefs is to take action, no matter how small. Action breeds confidence. It shows you that the walls you've built in your mind are not as high as you thought. Each step you take, each fear you face, chips away at those mental barriers. You'll begin to see possibilities where you once saw roadblocks. Remember, progress isn't about giant leaps. It's about consistent, determined steps forward. It's time to rewrite the narrative in your mind. Stop letting past failures and negative voices dictate your future. Surround yourself with people who challenge you, who push you to be better, who believe in your potential even when you don't. Seek out experiences that expand your horizons and challenge your limits. The only thing truly standing between you and your dreams is the belief that you can't achieve them. Understand this. You are capable of more than you can imagine. The limits you perceive are self-imposed and can be dismantled with persistence and courage. Don't let limited beliefs control your destiny. Break free from the mental chains, take control of your narrative, and start living the life you are truly capable of. Number 4. Relationships Relationships can make or break you, while healthy relationships can uplift and support you.
Toxic ones can drain your energy, sap your confidence, and derail your dreams. Too often, we allow ourselves to be controlled by relationships out of fear. Fear of being alone. Fear of confrontation. Fear of change. But here's the reality. Staying in the wrong relationships is far more damaging than facing those fears. Think about it. How many times have you compromised your values, your goals, and your happiness just to keep the peace or avoid conflict? How many times have you silenced your own voice to please someone else? It's a vicious cycle. You lose bits of yourself each time you put others' needs and opinions above your own. This isn't about being selfish. It's about self-preservation. If you don't prioritize your own well-being, who will? Toxic relationships are like anchors, holding you back from reaching your full potential. These can be romantic partners, family members, friends, or even colleagues. Anyone who belittles your dreams, constantly criticizes you, or makes you feel less than who you are, is toxic. You need to cut those ties. Yes, it's hard. It's painful. But staying tethered to negativity is far worse. Healthy relationships, on the other hand, are based on mutual respect, support, and growth. They push you to be better, lift you up when you're down, and celebrate your successes. These are the relationships you need to nurture. Surround yourself with people who inspire you, who challenge you to grow, and who accept you as you are. These relationships are your fuel, not your chains. But sometimes you have to walk away. It doesn't matter if it's a long-term friendship, a close family member, or a significant other. If the relationship is toxic, it's harming you more than helping you. Set boundaries, stand your ground, learn to say no. Your mental and emotional health are worth more than any toxic relationship. It's time to take a hard look at your relationships. Identify the ones that drain you, the ones that make you feel small, the ones that stifle your growth. Then make the tough decision to either fix them or let them go. Surround yourself with positivity, with people who believe in you and want to see you succeed. Life is too short to be controlled by toxic relationships. You deserve better. Remember, the relationships you keep are a reflection of how you value yourself. Don't settle for less than you deserve. Break free from toxic ties. Prioritize your well-being and build a circle that empowers you to live your best life. Number five, money. While money is essential for survival and can provide comfort, it's one of the most pervasive and insidious controllers of human behavior. Too often, people allow their lives, decisions, and even their self-worth to be dictated by their financial situation. But if you let money control you, you'll never find true happiness or fulfillment. Money is a tool, not a master. Yet, society has conditioned us to believe that our value is tied to our bank balance. You're constantly bombarded with messages that tell you more money equals more happiness, more success, more respect. But here's the harsh reality. Chasing money for the sake of money is a never-ending, soul-crushing race. No matter how much you acquire, it will never be enough if you let it define you. Think about how many people sacrifice their health, their relationships, and their dreams for the pursuit of wealth. They work jobs they hate, endure unbearable stress, and put off living until someday, a day that often never comes. They tell themselves that once they reach a certain financial goal, they'll finally be happy. But that day keeps moving further away as new financial goals take its place. Money can buy comfort, security, and opportunities, but it can't buy purpose, passion, or true happiness. These come from within and from living a life aligned with your values and dreams. If you make decisions based solely on financial gain, you're likely to end up feeling empty and unfulfilled. Instead, focus on what truly matters, meaningful relationships, personal growth, and experiences that enrich your life. You need to take control of your relationship with money. This means being smart about your finances. Save, invest, and spend wisely. But don't let it become your obsession. Make 
Financial decisions that support your goals and values, not ones that detract from them. Learn to differentiate between needs and wants. Understand that true wealth is measured in time, freedom, and the ability to live life on your own terms. It's time to stop letting money control you. Evaluate your financial goals and ask yourself, are they aligned with what truly makes you happy? Are you working towards financial independence to support a life you love? Or are you stuck in the cycle of accumulating more for the sake of it? Break free from the societal pressure to constantly acquire more. Focus on creating a balanced life where money serves you, not the other way around. Remember, your worth isn't defined by your wealth. It's defined by who you are. The impact you have on others and how you live your life. Use money as a tool to enhance your life, not control it. Reclaim your power and live a life where you call the shots, not your bank account. So there you have it. Five things you must never let control your life. Your past, other people's opinions, limited beliefs, relationships, and money. These elements can either be chains that hold you back or tools that propel you forward. The choice is yours. Break free from the past. Silence the naysayers. Shatter your limiting beliefs. Cut toxic relationships and let money serve you, not the other way around. Life is too short to be lived in chains. Reclaim your power. Live boldly, authentically, and unapologetically. Don't let anything or anyone dictate your path. You have the strength, the courage, and the wisdom to shape your destiny. Start today. Make the tough choices. Embrace the challenges. And watch as you transform your life into one of true freedom and fulfillment. If this message resonated with you, if you're ready to break free from what's holding you back and live your best life, then join our community. Subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for more content that empowers you to take control and live with purpose. Share this video with someone who needs to hear this message. Remember, the power to change your life starts with you. Thanks for watching.